Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and today we're hanging laundry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, hanging laundry is awesome, and you should totally do it, but uh, I don't think you need a whole video about how to clip clothes onto a clothesline. What I want to talk about today is something that's pretty darn important, and it is uh, how to not starve to death during the winter. Uh, uh, it's uh, beginning of fall right now. Uh, I don't if you can even hear, there's a little rasp in my voice. I'm just getting over a little bit of a cold. Um, Actually, I don't think it was a call. I think it was more like seasonal allergies. Um, but <coughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> in retrospect, it was actually pneumonia the whole time. Um, and whoa, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just getting over a cold. Uh, so, uh, what happens in the winter? You, you might get a cold, but also your garden is about to die. And you're going to lose everything in there if you don't uh, either use it or lose it or preserve it. And uh, today I want to talk about how to preserve uh, using some very primitive, well not primitive, but some simple methods that don't require, you know, the electrical grid and all that kind of stuff. We had a frost warning last night. Didn't end up frosting, but uh, I came out into the garden uh, just in case and I collected all of the red tomatoes that I could find. Uh, took them all, put them in a pot, and uh, this morning, now that we have sun, as you can see, harshly on my face. Um, I'm baking those tomatoes in, in an oven, uh, one of my solar ovens. Now, uh, during uh, normal times, normal, uh, a garden is, you know, it's a, it's a nice city, it's kind of a luxury, um, and it, you know, it supplements your food, you know, food never tastes better than when it's fresh out of the garden. Uh, but during an SHTF situation, a uh, garden isn't just a nice city anymore, it becomes a necessity, because that's where you're going to be getting a lot of your uh, your nutrients and your calories and everything like that between that and foraging, hunting, uh, and what else you might, whatever else you might be doing. So here in the solar oven, I've got all the tomatoes. Uh, they're going to bake in there for a couple hours, and then we're going to bring them into the house and can them. But I'm going to can them using a method that's a little unconventional, using uh, canning supplies from the garbage. And now that the water's all removed, or most of it anyway, I'm going to take these and put them into this wonderful device uh, that I bought. I, I forget what it's called. It kind of strains the stuff through. It, it was something that I bought a while ago, and I thought that it wasn't working very well. But I found out later that it works a hell of a lot better if you put stuff in there that's cooked versus put stuff in there that uh, is raw. Okay. So I'm going to take a spoon, and I'm going to kind of push this down through here. But you can already see in the pot here that there's a bunch of tomato slurry that's going through there. All right, so I'm sorry about that. Obviously my camera had its own SHTF situation, but I've got a backup because I'm a prepper and here we go. Um, I got all the mush through this device, which I looked up. It's called a rotary food mill and it works very well for both for separating and for just getting things all kind of, kind of pureed as it pushes it all through there. I took those all, uh, all that material and, is that hot yet? Okay and put it into these jars. I'm starting the canning process right right now. Now these jars are just regular jars you buy at the store. These had salsa in them. And they're not actual canning jars. But I, I've had a 0% failure rate using these for canning. You gotta be a little more careful. Can't put them right into hot water when they're cold because the glass can crack. It's not tempered for that. And the lids, you gotta make sure you get the lids nice and down. Sometimes the, the lids will, will uh, release uh, when they're in the bath if you don't have them down enough. I'm gonna be careful, put that in. Water's starting to get a little hot. Um, but I've had very good success canning that way. I was able to get two jars uh, out of that, and I'm going to be able to uh, use that nutrition, which I got free from my garden, and I got the canning supplies free from the waste stream. I don't know what I'm going to use this tomato slurry for. I could use it for a soup, for a pasta sauce, for anything really. But the nutrients is in there, and if I need it, I know where to get it. I hope this is informative to you. Thank you for watching.